Hi, welcome back to another Derek Burleson painting tutorial, Derek Burleson art. So again, here we are, the same one, kind of looks like uh, we keep going over and over again this this painting, uh, um, picture, maybe it's turned into a picture, gosh, I don't know. Uh, but today we're going to do a little bit of, of uh, sand or gravel. So we're going to say here uh, we want like maybe it's an old gravel road that that's right there so we want to put some some gravel in some sand make it a, an old road all right so what I'm going to use today is this a toothbrush remember how we did in the video where we showed rain um, that's kind of what we're doing here um, I'm going to just start I'm going to grab me a little bit of a little bit of brown uh, a little bit of white and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make it kind of soupy I know you're not able to see it a lot but I'm just gonna see what I like here and I'm just gonna keep flicking it on now if you get some up in here don't worry about because we're gonna we're going to uh, put some more grass in there and just kind of seat this but right now I'm just kind of getting getting kind of a base on and we're gonna spend our whole time our whole time doing this pretty much so all right I'm gonna get a little bit more of that a little more white a little more white let's try that There, I'm, I'm starting like that, but we need to get a little bit more on it. We need to get it a little. There we go. And a lot of this, if you see it, it's a little light or whatever. It, if it looks a little bit too bright, don't don't worry, because it's going to dry a little bit. If you start getting it up in here, just you can kind of knock them off. But we're we're gonna kind of cover some of those up. If you feel like uh, you can't do that, let's see here. Let me let me find us something here. So if you, you feel like you um, you can't control, just kind of put that put a like that. But I'm gonna since you can't really see if I do that, I'm not gonna do that. And I just keep going back and back over it. Um, but I'm using different, there's some, uh, I kind of took brown and I mixed it with a little bit of white. Uh, put that on. I did a little bit of brown without so much white. And I didn't, I, and, I'm, and I'm not mixing the, the, the paint real, uh, real well either. I'm just kind of uh, letting it mix right here on the right here on the canvas but do you kind of see what what's happening is we're getting almost looks like sand or put it on there and people will be amazed when you do this uh, they'll be like how in the world did you get that to look like that it looks like and it, it's textured and it how, how did you do that they'll, they'll be amazed trust me they, they'll wonder how you did it I teach this in my my art classes and people are like how did you how did you do that and I'm like you just watched you actually did it and then when they get to do it uh, they they think that's cool. Uh, problem is, is that most of the time we're doing snow or we're doing stars, <laughs> and they get to doing it so much and liking it so much that the next thing you know, it looks like a whiteout blizzard um, with their snow. Now, what I did is I, I just, I know you can't see here, but I, I just added a little more white to my uh, 
brown. So now I'm starting to get some white highlights on there. Like I said, we're just just playing with it. So it'll kind of look like some light hitting it. There we go. Well, I think we'll just call that. For now, we may uh, want to do, we may, we may want to do more to it, I don't know. Now, I'm going to come here. what you call way too much paint. There we go. I'm just going to kind of seat this back in a little bit. There we go. There, see how we're kind of just seating that road back in there a little bit and we're still not we're still not done we, we still got I know this is gravel but there's not a not a lot to the to the gravel or sand and you can put yellows in there uh, black whatever you want uh, you can you, again, you can make it your own. There we go. That looks like that. It's looking good. And again, I'm putting in just some different colors. I'm not um, not worrying too much about it because we're gonna we're gonna fix all that up here in just a second. And I'm using, remember that, that brush, I'm, I'm using that again. I kind of kind of liked how it, how it worked. So, yeah, it, it works fine. All right, I think we'll just call that. That's good for the grass. Um, now, last time I did not show you the script liner brush. And so let's... Let's do some grass with the script liner brush. We used the dagger, I think, the whole time last time. So anyway, I'm just flicking. Yeah, it needs a lot more water. A lot more water. I mean, you want this to be inky, very inky, right? Um, or it'll drag and you won't like it. I think our uh, grass back there is still a little too wet to, to be going over. Now I'm just kind of bringing some of that grass up tall because um, we, we're, we're trying to make everything look three-dimensional so you want some of these grasses up here and you can kind of come up and down over your road boom 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 just and once you get into a rhythm I mean you can just keep going really fast and 
and get them. I was kind of showing you slowly, but sometimes uh, just going really quick is, uh, oops. Let's see, got a little grass there that kind of goes over into the into the road. Oh well. And we're just I know this isn't about grass, this was about the gravel, but I'm uh, but what I'm doing here is kind of showing you uh, that we're kind of bringing the grass up over that gravel so it looks gravel sand whatever whatever it is but uh, that way that starts that starts seating it and making it look like it's it's uh, more of a three-dimensional and again our, our underpainting here is really wet so our our grass I mean does it want to flow real well it wants to <laughs> it wants to uh, blend in with the background <laughs> but which is okay I mean we can or this is there we go now look how that's all seeded in there and how now our gravel it just uh, kind of pushes back in there and then it gets dark and then we got our tree here and um, but I'm just going to let that dry for a few minutes. But now you've got that in there. And if we wanted to, we could come up it with, with a big post here um, and put a fence post here. We could put a, a, a cabin back there or a barn if we wanted to. Um, anything we really want. Uh, this, we, we had no picture. Um, actually, I wasn't even going to do this. Uh, as you can see, I covered up most of a mountain with that big tree. But I, I started out as just going to do clouds. Then I was going to show you how to do some grass. And then I was going to do something else. But <laughs> I just kept thinking, well, you know what? Um, if, you're, if you're wanting to paint a picture, well, how about what's an easy one to paint? Where um, I can keep using... Um, I can use those same techniques. So I just thought, well, let's just keep going and uh, and see. See, I almost went to almost pure <laughs> white on the grass. I'm just doing that because uh, it's so wet that I wanted that to show up for you. But it, it looks like um, light hitting it, and it'll... Uh, It'll darken, trust me. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this one again. Um, this little series. Um, I think this little series turned out to be what? Uh, clouds 1, Mountains 2, Grass 3, Trees 4, The Sand, and then pushing everything in 5. So I think we've done 5 little series here. And we got us a little painting. Uh, like I said, we could come back in here and uh, put us a little uh, a little um, barn or cabin or something back there. Look at that. Yeah. Be just a little cabin or something back here. Wouldn't that be cool? Well, we could do it. Um, yeah, just and just scratched it in. We could put a fence post here. We could put maybe a little um, road coming down in here, and, and uh, yeah, we could really do. That. So we might do that. We might continue with this. I don't. I don't know. But anyway, thanks for watching. If you like this video, again, uh, press like, subscribe. Uh, Tell me what you think, what you like, don't like, what you'd like to see in the future. Again, I just am trying to find the simplest things to get you to enjoy painting because everybody can paint and everybody will would enjoy it if they can do it. It just takes practice. So anyway, thanks for, uh, thanks for being here and I'll see you next time. I'm Derek. Uh, have a great day.